Hey folks, this is still section 9.1 where we're talking about angles and their measures. I'd like to discuss the difference between degrees and radians. This is kind of a similar conversation that you might have had in elementary school when you first learned about the difference between measuring a distance in miles versus measuring it in kilometers. Two different ways to measure the exact same thing. What we have here is degrees and radians. There are two ways to measure our angles. We already know that the degree measure in a whole entire circle is what? You're right, that's 360 degrees. Half of a circle then will be 180 degrees. Stick with me for this next bit of conversation here. This is gonna be a little bit geeky math, uh, but your embedded question is gonna come after this. So you're gonna need to have a fairly decent understanding of what I'm about to say here so that you can answer the embedded question. If I wanted to measure an angle in radians, here's the actual definition of a radian. If you have a radius, and that radius of your circle is the exact same thing as an arc length. You see I have a picture over here, and on this picture my arc length is the exact same length as my radius. If this occurs, then the central angle that theta is going to equal one radian. So that's where a radian originates. So one way that we could write that is a central angle that's measured in radians is always gonna equal whatever my arc length is divided by whatever my radius is. And mathematically, uh, we would say that our angle, which is called theta, is going to equal arc length, which is called L, divided by the radius, which we know is R. So here's your embedded question that I want you to write down the answer to and bring it to class. Suppose a random circle's radius is X units. What is that circle's circumference? Now I haven't gone over circumference with you, so you're gonna have to reach back in your mind to high school geometry or look up the formula for circumference. And then after that, you're gonna answer the following question, the next one here. What's another word for the length of the arc around the whole entire circle? And then lastly, uh, the radian measure then of the whole entire circle is going to be what? So those are the three things that you're gonna answer for your embedded question. Write those down, bring them to class. Let's finish up the last few things here on this particular page. 360 degrees is going to end up equaling 2 pi radians. This isn't a big surprise since we worked on our unit circle, and the unit circle ends at 360 degrees, also ends at 2 pi degrees, uh, sorry, 2 pi radians before it starts back around the circle. So that's not a big surprise. Um, and then 180 degrees is going to be the same thing as pi radians. Um, two more geometry terms, some high school stuff. Complementary angles, these are two angles whose sum is 90 degrees, and supplementary angles, two angles whose sum is 180 degrees.